Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. guys we have the team of the week reveals to get into for those cards coming out later today but also we have to talk about some other issues currently going on that uh have popped up in the past like 24 hours maybe even sooner than that and some stuff they got fixed now, i do want to give a shout out to donovan taylor for being a part of the nerdy gang if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below nerdy gang and also guys last night on monday night football we were able to secure a couple of w's thanks to the new insurance feature unfortunately hunter renfro kind of sold us pretty hard we could have had a pretty big day if renfro showed up but there is going to be a special for those of you guys that signed up using code zerk or if you do sign up and use code zerk by friday at 3 p.m eastern time there's going to be a special odds booster available for only you guys that signed up and used code zerk so shout out to all you guys for all the support you've shown me and as i said check out underdog fantasy use code zerk to match first deposit up to 100 dollars we do have the nba coming up very very soon i'm very excited for that and of course we have thursday night football coming up now in terms of issues currently going on in the game guys i do want to let you know that solo battles have actually been fixed so you should have solo battles available to go that is great news right However, you guys see, I am level 59 currently in my field pass. It is not showing for me. However, a lot of people tweeted this morning, and EA even tweeted and acknowledged it as well, that some people, their regular field pass right here where I'm level 59, yeah, they got reset. So, yeah, if you guys got reset, they said they're looking into it. I don't know how they did that, how they messed that up, but yeah with the last couple of days of the field pass here right because the new field pass actually comes out on thursday well they somehow reset people early on accident welcome to ea all right so let's get into the team of the week and talk about this and man this is going to be an interesting day i can already tell so in case you guys did not see this yesterday i did go over the content schedule yesterday of course we had the ak promo today we have team of the week and then tomorrow we have a special stream at 7 p.m eastern time guys so there isn't going to be a morning stream it looks like but only at 7 p.m eastern time where they're going to go over season two and most feared and both those promos should be dropping on thursday and then of course we have legends on saturday but i do want to let you guys know I have a bad feeling for Team of the Week today. Um, team of the Week usually drops at 4 p.m. Eastern. I 100% fully expect them to delay it. I'm going to do why I believe that in just a second. But as you guys can see right here, uh, they did tweet out, as I already told you guys, about the field pass and also solo battles. But here's the thing about Team of the Week, guys, okay? Now, yesterday, right, I always do a 7 p.m. reveal video for you guys. They always tend to tweet out the hero before the game. Well, here's the thing. They didn't yesterday. They said they took the day off because of a holiday that was going on. And I gotta say that this game right now, with all of the issues going on and everything, right? I know a lot of companies that do not take holidays off unless it is like a major, major holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving, something like that, right? Especially when your game is just crumbling. And that's what's happening right now in Madden 23. There are so many issues that need to be fixed. And they didn't do anything yesterday. And when we get into Team of the Week, I have literally, and I mean this literally, never one single time before seen this before. They do not have card art or ratings ready yet for Team of the Week. And if they didn't have anything done last night, and they don't have anything done yet today, right? They have the players selected, but they don't have card arts done I don't know how this is going to release at 4 p.m. Eastern. So, I uh, don't really be expecting Team of the Week at 4 p.m. today. Honestly, if it comes out at 4, I'd be shocked. I would honestly be shocked. But we know the players. We have Emmanuel Mosley right here, uh, who I expected to get a card. He did have a pick six, 82 overall. I believe he also tore his ACL, so I think he's done for the year. So, it makes sense that he would get a Team of the Week card here. Uh, he, we also got Ramondre Stevenson, 175 total yards, 82 overall right there. We also got Dorrance Armstrong for my Cowboys, which I got to say, I didn't have him 
on my predictions list just because I didn't know if he would get it. He did have a sack and a forced fumble as well as two tackles. By the way, I think he also had that blocked uh, punt as well, so they should have added that in. But he got an 85 overall card right there uh, for my Cowboys in a very, very nice win over the Rams. We also got Taysom Hill. Fully expecting to get a card. 134 total yards and four total TDs, 85 overall. Now getting into the higher overall cards, we have Cameron Dantzler with eight tackles, a force fumble, and a fumble recovery at an 88 overall. And then we also got Austin Eckler. I actually did not have Eckler in my predictions, uh, mostly in due part that, you know, last week he had a crazy, crazy week as well. And then didn't get a team of the week so i just didn't include him this week thought maybe they had him saved for a promo or something but he had 199 total yards two touchdowns and he did get the team of the week hero but as for the team of the week hero for today that is travis kelsey i know a lot of people thought that maybe they don't do monday night football cards because they haven't yet they do they just haven't had a monday night football performance that was really uh, worthy of making the hero so yes travis kelsey is the team of the week hero now i'll let you guys know though this was not the hero that was slated before monday night football and we'll talk about that but i just want to point this out because it's pretty funny kelsey had seven catches 25 yards and four touchdowns this is i, I am positive this has got to be the first team of the week hero ever that only had 25 yards in a game that is just insane uh by the way Shout out to me last night because on underdog, I took Travis Kelsey to go higher than, what was it, 76 yards. This man scored four touchdowns and didn't hit the yardage. How crazy is that? So that's Travis Kelsey. We'll take a look at the card and see if it's going to be any good. And then as for the other cards, we have Ty Law coming as the defensive legend player. Two pass deflections, a pick, a touchdown, five tackles. He's going to be a 91 overall. Should be a pretty good card. And then Brandon Marshall. They just keep hammering us with these super tall wide receivers. Uh, six foot five, 12 catches, 144 yards, and a touchdown. A ton of team cams. Should be a pretty good card as well. And then remember, guys, the LTD is not from this year the ltd is from a previous year but the same week so as you guys can see russell wilson week 5 2019 268 passing yards and four tds so i will admit team of the week looks pretty good for not having any card art and not having any ratings the players names look like it should be a pretty solid team of the week but as i told you guys right monday night football before monday night football who was gonna be the team of the week hero if you guys saw my team of the week prediction video i thought josh allen was gonna get snubbed this week and gabriel davis was gonna get the hero and on the stream tj accidentally showed the next slide i guess of the files that he had and you guys can see right here yeah it was actually scheduled to be gabriel davis so i was correct gabe davis was supposed to be the team of the week hero until last night and travis kelsey had four touchdowns now since we don't have the stats on these cards this is pretty much the only thing we can do to kind of decide if these cards are even going to be any good but travis kelsey had an 87 overall guys he's going up to a 91 he only had 82 speed so in order for this team of the week card for people to really care about it i'll be honest he's got to be way faster uh just getting plus four to 86 speed is not going to be good enough so i'm really really hoping they juice up travis kelsey maybe give him you know 88 speed that would be really incredible if they were able to do that uh he is six foot five he has good catch traffic he has good route running so he's probably gonna be at 90 short 90 medium route running that's gonna be really good uh the spec catch the catch traffic should be pretty solid gonna be gonna be a really good run blocker and then after the catch will be pretty decent so i think honestly if they make this travis kelsey like you know 88 speed this would be a really good tight end now will you pick him up if you already have dave casper probably not and then as i showed you guys the ltd is going to be russell wilson and we right now we have this 87 overall russell wilson from kickoff of course you guys got for having prime gaming uh the 87 at 82 speed 82 excel going up to a 91 he's going to be about high 80 speed right probably 86 87 throw power is going to be pretty good should be like 92 maybe 93 if we're lucky uh accuracy is to be really good and in terms of his release guys he has generic three which last year was uh, a lot of people said was like the best in the game this year it's actually number five because the rankings here don't showcase traditional two which is the second quickest in the game but it is actually the fifth quickest release this year so i mean it was really really good last year this year it's kind of like you know decent with that being said guys that is the team of the week information and as i said i don't expect this out of 4 p.m if they don't have the ratings if they don't have the card art if there are so many other issues currently going on in the game 
I wouldn't even be surprised if they said it's delayed until tomorrow. So, we will see, but yeah, I fully, fully just do not expect this to be out at 4 p.m. And man, EA, something's got to change, man. Okay, we're doing pack strike still. I know a lot of people, you know, we've been doing pack strike for what, about two weeks now? A lot of people maybe didn't even join in on pack strike. They thought it was a joke that a lot of the community's doing it. What well, do you think it's a joke that all this stuff keeps happening and you just keep spending money on packs and just nothing ever changes? Yeah, this is kind of the only thing that we can do to really make a difference with EA is just not giving them money. Because right now this product is not worth spending money on. Especially when these cards are probably going to be delayed. The content's going to come out and it's going to be a million coins. It's just ridiculous. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. And I'll catch you guys later today. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.